Okay, I'm going to quickly show you how to um, create a table using one main component. And I'm just only going to focus on creating the, the table itself, although, as you can see, I created everything else. Uh, these are the styles with the variants for the icon, the badge variants, and we're going to focus here on creating this particular um, variant base. And this was to create, uh, I can get back into it, this, this was to show um, everything else which was created just on one component. But we're going to focus just strictly up here on that. So I've already dragged out the, or created the, the elements, so to speak. And so I'm just going to show you how I do this. So I got the header, the data, the badge, the icon. So I'm going to highlight these. Create component, name the component base, whoops, base, and create an auto layout. I'm going to center these left, uh, use eight point in between, use eight point padding, and I'm going to put a fixed height on this. Fixed height, I'm going to do 40. So there, there's the base. Oh, and I need to make the booleans. So header, um, where is it? It's right here. Boolean show header data create property show data badge. Um, sorry about this. this is, oh, this is part of it. If you don't know how to do this, then this is how you do it. And show icon. Okay, I'm going to drag out an instance of this and you see all of my my property boolean properties and I want to make this one the header and keep the icon so I'm gonna unshow or false hide uh, the data and the badge and now that's our header cell so I'm gonna copy this we're gonna make a column here I'm gonna duplicate it control D oh geez I hate when this does that control D um, I'm on an iPad. All right, so Control D, and I'm gonna make this one the data. So I'm gonna unhide it, or, or unhide. <laughs> I'm gonna hide those. So here's our data cell, and then I'm gonna make probably ten of these. So I need one. Oops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's fine. Okay. Zoom out a second. Uh, select all these. Create component. Name this column and auto layout. We're going to set this to zero. So there's no space in between. So there's, oh geez, hello wall. There we go. So there's column. And now I'm going to drag, actually on this column, I'm going to, I'm going to fill the cells. So I'm going to select all of these over here on my layers and in horizontal, horizontal, horizontal resizing I'm gonna do fill container so now you see they're all filled um, now I'm gonna drag an instance out of this option so here's column one and now I'm gonna duplicate this control D bring it over and then just go control D control D and how many columns I need all right that that sound that looks good select all of these um, create component call this table name this table and auto layout of course um, and there's gonna be zero in between these and there it is there's my table um, so now if I drag this table out option now it's an instance as you see the icon changes from component to instance and this is where you, you customize it, correct? I mean, that was a table or a template, so to speak, not really a template for if it was in a, with other components like I showed earlier. Um, but uh, you change the content here to whatever you, you would like. You can rename this whatever screen you want. You don't have to call it a table or whatever you'd like. And um, so, Say I wanted to, as an example, say I wanted all these to be badges and this to be status, right? So I go in here, status, 
change that. By the way, I can change this icon because of the variance to whatever search, sort. So say I said it wanted to be a search instead or a sort. That's fine, or carrot. Um, and now I'm going to change these to badges. So I go into my layers and I select the base. And now I'm gonna show badge. So now we have badge. Um, and they're all approved and I selected approved as the default, so to speak, uh, because most will be approved. But say if someone is denied and I go in here and I, get, I click into the badge itself and instead I'm gonna say denied for this particular row. And pending, say this one wanted to be pending and pending. So, I mean, there's more to this, but I just wanted to show a, a quickly how, how you can do this. And as you see, I'm not going to get into it, but um, I created more variants of this, a hover, a drop-down uh, um, variants, and I'll show you those in a search. So all I, anything I wanted to do, I just grabbed the one base component and create all the molecules and organism or the organisms which you see here I have the drop down excuse me I um, I created the the bars the header and the pagination and then the template came to this this was actually called template because it is a template and uh, and I created the padding and the um, the background color you know in you can change anything within with using the atoms in the style guide so that's it and here's here was my final so to speak yeah he that, that's the hero of life <laughs> okay thank you